Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, it's me again. I'm gonna bring you the actual game review of NCAA Football 10. I brought you the demo review earlier this month. Uh, last month, I mean, and now I'm gonna bring you the actual game review. Um, Michael Crabtree on the cover, obviously an outstanding wide receiver playing for the um, 49ers right now. Okay, so when you come into the, the setup, it's just like the um, it's just like the rest of these, just like 09 and etc. It's the standard player on the right, your favorite team, etc. Okay, I just gotta move that, sorry. Alright, well, okay, um, so when you step in, there's obviously all the same stuff, but then you see some new things on the side here, like Team Builder is something you can make online at teambuilder.easports.com. And when you buy the game, there's a code, and you make the team, and you create an EA account, and you go on here, and you enter the code, and you can upload your team, or upload any team from uh, the online world, that is. Uh, and then Season Showdown Mode is obviously one of their newest features. Um, it takes all the teams, and it makes leaderboards and all the points they got, and I'll show you the pointing system. As you can see, Notre Dame is just that's out of the top ten at number 11 disappointing and then there's individual ones and then when the season comes there's gonna be a tournament and they'll play in like a national championship game and it's stuff like that which I think is pretty sweet um, so you have your own personal credits and there's an overall there's a verse of the nation there's an online showdown which won't come until this actual season there's a web trivia challenge you can take which I haven't participated in yet and then there's versus the CPU there's skills there's strategics there's sportsmanship and I'll explain all that then um, everything else is pretty much the same. Online is lag free, finally. Uh, you know, there's still, um, instant classic. You can still create a player. Dynasty is awesome. The newest thing is Road to Glory mode, which puts you in a college atmosphere and it has Aaron Andrews and it follows you through things. It's basically like Campus Legends, just revamped and etc. Online Dynasty is obviously new, that's really good too. It's really fun to get some of your friends out there, people you don't know. Just have some fun. Um, you know, everything's pretty much the same. They have online roster updates right now and you can get the names of your players and stuff for free. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. I'm um, sorry if the lighting's bad on this, I just don't know why my camera's acting up. So sorry about that, but uh, then there's Family Play where and the computer picks your play and the receiver you're going to throw to, and that's the only receiver you can throw to, which is pretty messed up. They have mascot mashup again. Mini games are the same. Horse, special teams challenge, tug of war, bowling, option dash. They're all pretty fun. I mean, if you just want to hang around with your friend one day and just play these, uh, it's not a bad idea. Um, okay, so I'm going to be Notre Dame, and uh, I'm going to play, uh, play Stanford. I'll uh, play Stanford. Um, you can mix up your uniforms, and obviously Notre Dame doesn't really have much of a choice. But, uh, let's say you're a team like Oregon. They have mad uniform changes. You know what, I have enough time, I'm gonna show you. Okay, here's Oregon. Go to the uniform. Helmet color, they have a green helmet, a white helmet, and a yellow helmet. A jersey, a green jersey, a white jersey, a black jersey, a yellow jersey. You know, pants, white, black, yellow. And you can just mix and match everything to make your team look sick nasty. Which I thought was a cool little feature. Um, okay, but I'm gonna be Notre Dame and I forgot to turn the green back on. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I mean, this game's pretty fun. I'm gonna play on freshman again just because, you know, that's what I do. That's how I roll. Um. Uh, you know... It's just the same stuff introduction as game as last year, really, except I'll let the actual intro play for you guys. Sorry I'm moving this camera, because my screen is just messed right now. I guess that's a little bit better, but, uh, you know, still gives you a little information. <coughs> Sorry about that. And, uh, I don't know, the game really isn't that different. If you're looking for, like, gameplay changes, I mean, you got a little bit, you got some more animations and some more different player models and different graphics. But well, I mean, the gameplay is really the same. It's been the same for a long time, since 08. But, uh, I mean, features is definitely a big, a new thing. Uh, they took away the helmets on the pregame, and they'll probably bring it back next year to be like, oh, it's a new feature. 
Uh, and then you see the bands on the field, and they spell out something. It can spell out Irish, go, go, go. If you're the Sooners, it'll spell out Okies or something like that. Uh, just a cool, something cool, you know. And then they have this tour around the stadium, like always. And then they have, like, player to a game to watch. And But I skipped all that for you guys, because I'm nice. I guess. Okay, another cool feature here is coming up. It's called uh, Game Plan, and you can change your game plan. Let's just to take an example. I did it on the demo too. Like, if you want a big hits, you know, you can do a sure tackle, which will give you no big hits, less chance of a fumble. Or, you know, you go big hit, you'll fumble. You might miss the tackle. You know, you can do the pick. You, lineman can jump the snap. Wide receivers get open, holding blocks. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a neat way to just like model your your team around the way you want to play, and you can change it any time during the game. Okay, what a bad kick, but I'm going to take it anyways, and I don't know. Uh, you guys can think of yourself what the graphics look like. Personally, I think they look better, but, um, you know, I could be wrong. Uh, they do have player lock. I showed you that in the demo as well. It's where you lock onto. You know, I'll do it with Jimmy Clausen. I'll do it. See the lock thing? That means that's the only way you can be the player for that play is Jimmy Clausen. And you see, there goes Kyle Rudolph for a touchdown, and I can't run with them and it's just like campus legend where you're the quarterback and you can't do anything but um you know uh, I think they have a new kicking meter not really no uh, that's a Madden sorry but uh, you know overall I'll give the game a, I'll give it an eight and a half out of ten I thought it was pretty good it's a really fun game you guys should definitely get it uh, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play the game here and you guys can just watch see things you don't like I'll point out some things if I see them um but uh uh, Assassin's Creed review. Sorry about that. I had to give it back to Blockbuster. So I don't think you're going to be getting that one. Uh, I'm going to ask my friend if he has the, the game. But uh, please tell me if it's worth me asking him for it. Because if you guys don't want to see the review, I won't do it. The game was really good. I gave the game a 9.5 out of 10 just for how amazing it was. Uh, it's definitely a game to buy. I mean, the second one's coming out this fall or winter. Uh, that's going to be another big buy. Um, so, you know, that's really it. It's just a fun thing. No! Uh, and the skills and uh, tackle thing is like, if you make a tackle with your player, you make an interception, you get skills for it. Strategy is like, let's say uh, I want to play the pass, and you get a pick, you get strategies or something like that. You get a you get a sack. Um, you know, uh, again, games really well. If you want to see another review on this, just let me know. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Just let me know if you want to see that. This game was really good. Uh, disappointed at EA that they didn't do something better though. Um, I'll get some more reviews on the way here for you guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.